Hey folks, my name is Dante. Let's get into the earth sounds. Uh, these mysterious loud sounds coming from the sky, um, heard around the world. I have my own theory about this. Um, what do I tell you? You want first-hand experience? I, I can actually uh, give you first-hand experience in regards to this. Uh, back in 2012, um, I believe it was the second week of December, uh, it was a Friday, so this can be looked up. It was December 2012, it was a Friday. So you can identify uh, the date, uh, the, the, the time period. And perhaps you can find something in the German news, which I did not. Furthermore, uh, what makes this story interesting is that my family, my daughter and my girlfriend had gone over to uh, my girlfriend's parents' house, as uh, we usually do on Fridays. I did not go this night, and... Um, Usually we go over there and we eat fish every Friday. Salad, potatoes, what have you. Uh, it's a standard practice. And um, it was interesting. I was staying home uh, that night and my girls had gone over to my girlfriend's parents' house, Omas and Obas, which means uh, grand, uh, grandmothers and grandfathers in German. And uh, the point is, uh, there was this weird, heavy uh, clanging sound. I went out on the balcony. I'm listening to this. It sounded me uh, mechanical. It was very, very loud. And I could tell just by the sound, it's coming from many, many miles away. And um, I know where the sun sets uh, from our balcony. I know where Frankfurt is. Frankfurt is north of us. Frankfurt's over here, and this was coming over here. Uh, it was basically southwest of us. And when my girls came home, I told my girls about this, and they were saying, well, we were outside. Uh, uh, my, my girlfriend was saying, uh, we were outside. Uh, they were both saying this to me. And uh, they were at uh, Oma's and Opa's, my girlfriend's parents' house. And they could hear this as well. And it was a weird mechanical uh, clanging, but it was loud. It was so loud. <clears throat> and that was the other thing. It sounded very mechanical, and it kept uh, repeating. Uh, even the repeating was in a, like a, a cyclical manner. It was in uh, terms of uh, every few seconds. There was a pattern to it. But it was so loud. And it was, it was like, um, I think Tom Cruise did a movie, a remake of an old film. I think that, was it this film or a different film that had uh, the loud uh, sounds in the sky? Uh, there, there's some film I've seen that, uh, that uh, did have that. And you look at biblical uh, prophecies, uh, you know... Uh, the sounds from the sky, what have you. Well, what do I tell you? Uh, I and my family heard it. And my family was about a mile, two miles away at my uh, girlfriend's parents' house. And since I was out on the balcony, very easy for me to pinpoint uh, in terms of north, south, east, and west uh, where it was coming from. And it was so loud, I could tell it was from miles off. And the thing is, um, you know, I've had a lot of computer pro uh, problems, and uh, so I didn't find anything the next day on my computer. Um, I did check the newspapers uh, the next day, the day after. I was checking uh, locally, but I believe also uh, from a city nearby. The thing is, I, I, deli I, I was delivering newspapers at the time. And I was just taking uh, anything home from different newspapers that people weren't getting. 
I didn't find anything. Uh, there was a media blackout on this. It wasn't in. Uh, it wasn't on uh, the TV. Was not in the papers. And uh, you know, I've seen videos of this stuff. I've seen videos of it. Um, people out in the woods. This weird clanging. Uh, these weird sounds. Uh, the sound we heard was different from what other people have heard. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it, it also was like uh, sounds I've heard on other videos. Um, the point is the sound varies. And then, you know, what do I tell you? I just think it's all government shit. People say, well, the sound's different here. Well, you're hearing uh, this here. People are saying they hear this type of sound here. You're over here in Germany. You hear this sound here. It's just caused disbelief. A oh, fuck it. Uh, when you hear it, you goddamn know it. Are you delusional about hearing my voice right now on this video? Uh, my girls were uh, a mile <coughs> to two miles away from me. Mile and a half to two miles away from me. They were outside and they goddamn heard it. And when I brought it up with them, uh, they were uh, giving me everything about this as well. And of course, I'm a writer and I'm a researcher. I asked them a hundred questions. Of course I did. And the point is, uh, it was, it sure as hell wasn't lightning. Uh, it wasn't even normal. Uh, that's the point. It sounded mechanical, but it was so goddamn loud. And you know, this idea that somehow I and my girls a couple of miles away are the only ones that heard the sound? It's absolute nonsense. But it was not reported in the newspapers. And I checked for days on end. It was not reported on the TV in the news. I checked over and over and over. There was nothing about this. And if you understand the Germans, by the way, and the amount of censorship here, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's drying out. Uh, you would get that uh, they, there was something weird that happened here in Germany. And it was all censored. <coughs> you know, it was a point many, many, many years ago, more than 10 years ago, there was a meteorite. And you know, the difference between a meteor and a meteorite, a meteorite is something that uh, passes through the sky uh, and remains intact. It doesn't burn up in the atmosphere. In other words, it's something that hits the ground. A meteor is something that hits the atmosphere and burns up. So, a little bit of science for people. <coughs> and uh, I was out delivering papers early morning. And I saw this bright light. And I thought, well, it's a soccer stadium over here. Uh, somebody made the lights on. But then I noticed, well, that's not, that's not right. It's over here. It's not over here. It's over here. <clears throat> it's way up in the sky. And, you know, there was so much light being given off, a white light. I, everything was being lit up. So I thought it was uh, uh, the, the soccer stadium lights being made up. I say soccer stadium. It's a field. But, you know, uh, they were doing a lot of, uh, there's always uh, soccer going on out there. And that's what it looked like. It looked like stadium floodlights. And uh, I'm looking at this, and it seems to be getting lower and lower. I could just notice a difference. And then I began to realize, well, those aren't floodlights. It's uh, something coming from space. And then I was thinking, you know, it's, it's just how I am. I was thinking, well, shit, this is like a Spielberg uh, movie. I was out in this parking lot. There were these dumpsters there for glass bottles. They have uh, special dumpsters for glass bottles here in Europe, which is a small hole. And I was thinking, uh, something's about the impact of the Earth here. I'm in a goddamn Spielberg movie. And um, I, I was literally thinking, uh, I have to try and squeeze into one of these um, recycling uh, dumpsters. I was thinking I have to get in there somehow. Obviously, I couldn't fit through the hole. And then I was thinking I crawl into a sewer. That was the next thing I was thinking. I'm all about survival, folks. Say what you like. I'm all about survival. 
been through all sorts of hard shit in my life. People trying to rob me with uh, knives. Um, there's an uh, extra added story I could add to that. Uh, you know, um, uh, what do I tell you? I've, I, I've actually I had a lot of attempts on my life. And um, that knife story goes back to America, but I've, I've had some here in Europe. And um, through very uh, inconspicuous means. And uh, what do I tell you? I'm, I'm, I'm all about surviving. And then this thing, uh, apparently what it did was broke into two pieces. And you could hear a rumbling sound. And then you could hear two explosions. And uh, the point was, there was this big flash of light. It was just like a, a nuclear explosion. It was just like, whew. and the whole sky, the whole sky, I just turned white for a moment. I mean, the entire sky. I what do I tell you? My life is full of weird experiences. Uh, you want weird stuff? Uh, stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe. Uh, hit like. What what have you? Uh, subscribe definitely. I'm just touching uh, the tip of the iceberg here. And the point is, uh, the whole sky, when I heard this one, ex there were two explosions. There were two. They only reported one in the news, which told me uh, what they did get in the news uh, was not everything. I am, you know, uh, I, I can't say I'm the only person that witnessed this in its entirety. But what the news got was, was only partial. There were two explosions. You could hear an explosion sound. And what they, what they explained was uh, this meteorite broke up and there was one explosion. No, there were two. And uh, there was a light burst. Boom! And the whole sky lit up. And it stayed lit up for four or five seconds. Literally. It was a... And actually, what happened was it was a one-on and, and then back on. And then it stayed lit for four or five seconds. Whole sky. Entire. Uh, just white light. And you can see the white light shining off the clouds. I mean, the whole... It, it, everything was lit up. And then, uh, eventually, uh, the stuff hit uh, the meteorites. I uh, hit the Earth. And uh, I believe I heard a boom. And uh, maybe not. But... Uh, I don't remember right now in the moment, but the point is, uh, the, the quote, lights went off, and uh, I was standing out in this parking lot, and I'll, I'll never forget it, uh, this white flash of light on, and then back on for like four or five seconds, absolutely uh, incredible, and I told my girlfriend about this, and then later, <coughs> and then later, we watched this in the news, the very thing I was telling her about. Except she had more detail than what they were giving in the news. Because I saw it all. I saw it all. And then later that night, uh, uh, we took uh, our daughter out in the front of the building. There was a lot of snow on the ground, three or four inches. I was taking my daughter out, pulling her around on a sled, spinning her around real quick. And what do I tell you? All the memories are there. So uh, there's another added story. And getting back to this thing with uh, the... The quote, Earth sounds. It is not the goddamn Earth. If you're watching the alternative media, the shit, that these sounds are coming from the Earth and the Earth is groaning, it's bullshit. If you hear what we heard, you'll know that this sound is artificial. It is mechanical sounding. And I've heard the other sounds. It's not the goddamn Earth. It's coming from up in the sky. I... This earth bullshit is bullshit. It was coming from up above. It sounded mechanical. You know, as a matter of you know, as a matter of fact, I did this video about Pine Bush, New York, and I was telling you, well, uh, this UFO began making a sound like an airplane, but it sounded off. It was the same goddamn thing here, and that was not my first experience with off sounds at Pine Bush, New York. So, I, I, I had other experiences. Uh, that is something, uh, it is technology trying to mimic 
uh, a natural sound. And because uh, it's not the exact same process, it sounds off by a few millimeters. And you pick up on this. Your consciousness does, because your consciousness and your brain are the best computer. And it was the same thing with these, quote, earth sounds. And you listen to these videos of the, quote, earth sounds, the trumpets. And what do I tell you? It's not the goddamn earth. It is not the earth going through changes. That is a goddamn bullshit uh, cover story. Nobody could have heard what I and my family heard and think, well, that's normal. It sounded artificial because it was. And, you know, strangely enough, my theory ties back into uh, uh, the, what I saw at Pine Bush, New York. And uh, it's not because of that sighting. It's because I know that the American military uh, has something which is hidden in terms of space technology. Uh, you look look at, uh, what's his name, Gary McKinnon from uh, the UK, from England. Uh, you do your own research. You don't have to believe me. Uh, but the point is, those sounds were not natural. Nothing on Earth, nothing within, that's it exactly, nothing within nature makes those sounds. Nothing. Those were man-made sounds, and, uh, you know, what do I tell you? The kooky elite are trying to deliberately fulfill religious prophecies. And, you know, sometimes the pro prophecies are ahead of, 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 of the players here. In other words, sometimes uh, uh, the elite get played by the prophecies. And uh, uh, those were no trumpets. Uh, it was an artificial... Uh, clanging sound. It was a clanging sound. It sounded like metal on metal, but like um, ships on ships being clanged together. It wasn't like a, you know, a couple of uh, cymbals being banged together. It was enormous. And it wasn't natural. It's not the earth groaning and moaning. Uh, those are people, you can tell by the narrative. If you've had the real experiences, by the way, uh, you can look at the alternative media and see uh, some of the ideas being uh, put out there, and you know that they're lying. You know that they're government operatives uh, based on how just absolutely false it is, and you know it's false because you had the real experience. That's the point. That is the point. If you had had the experience... You'd be thinking that this jerk from the alternative media trying to sell it as the earth groaning or it's coming out of caves and it's tape, uh, 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 plate tectonics. Uh, you know it's all bullshit. That's the point. And then you know that these people uh, who have not had the experiences yet are selling uh, a certain narrative. Uh, you know they're full of shit. And you can say, well, okay, fine, uh, they didn't have the experience. Maybe they're mistaken. Uh, what do I tell you? Uh, in regards to a lot of the people I've looked at, uh, you can tell flat out that uh, they're just being giving, uh, given a narrative to sell. And yeah, sure, in regards to all sorts of people at YouTube, what have you, uh, they're looking at other people like this. They're saying, well, maybe it's the earth. It's the earth groaning. Bullshit. Bullshit. And somebody from the alternative media, if they're really doing their research, uh, there are recordings, there are videos out there, you can't claim it's the goddamn earth groaning. In a lot of these videos, you hear what I and my girls heard. Uh, it's mechanical sounding. Uh, it doesn't begin to... You know, f God damn. <clears throat> you're, you're, you're just like a... Some kind of leech uh, grasping onto uh, uh, the hind end of a goddamn pig. You just want to suck on something that's not real and just absorb it and believe it. Uh, you look at the videos out there about these earth sounds. Nobody's faking this shit. I saw one of these people way out in the woods. It's the quote, trumpets from the Bible or biblical prophecies. 
It's not, they didn't make it, uh, they didn't add it in, no nothing. But it's not the goddamn earth growing. Bunch of goddamn nonsense. So if you look at the narrative, and you look at videos, I mean, if you have half a brain, you can look at a lot of these videos and realize they're real to begin with. But there's no way in hell, there's no way in hell that what I and my girls heard uh, was natural. It was not the earth growing. It did not fit within the context of nature. Not at all. <clears throat> there was no goddamn energy being squeezed out of caves. Tectonic plates, no nothing. It was artificial. It was com coming from way above. It was coming from miles away. And then why the fuck did the German government suppress it? Which they did. I looked at newspaper articles. I looked at newspapers for, uh, you know, easily the every day for the next week, even two weeks, nothing. I looked at videos. I was looking at a, a German newspapers and articles on, on the internet, nothing. Why the fuck did they suppress it? It was suppressed. It was suppressed. How did it get suppressed so quickly? Maybe it was planned ahead of time. So this whole thing with uh, these... Uh, these sounds, these earth sounds, uh, the earth changes, it's all bullshit. My own belief is, has to do with uh, uh, a, uh, quote, fleet of uh, ships which are uh, American and uh, obviously international. Uh, there's some kind of international thing going on here. And it's about fulfilling prophecies. Um, it's about the elite. Uh, it's not about goddamn earth changes. Bullshit. I look at how uh, fantastic some of the explanations are. Uh, many times uh, they exceed uh, what is much more plausible and believable. I look up Gary McKinnon from the UK. Look at what America wanted to do to him. So, um... So that's it. There are two experiences right there for you. And they're both real, firsthand. My family is a witness, uh, once again, uh, to one of these uh, situations here. And what do I tell you? I, I have a weird life. I've been a witness to very much. If you like uh, my videos, then subscribe. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, you know, nothing. Uh, you subscribe, uh, you get to look at some interesting videos. Uh, what's... You know, the government can do. Tell you to not look at my videos. Uh, you know. So, uh, take a look. Subscribe. How can somebody tell you to not subscribe to my videos? Uh, you know, and I've got more along the way here. And uh, if you don't subscribe, then chances are you're going to miss out on uh, situations and stories which you may find interesting. And you may yourself uh, do videos about. So that's it. You know, I'm all about putting the, uh, the knowledge out. So that's it. And my name's Dante. And again, subscribe. Uh, you know, I need more than 100 viewers for YouTube just to get my foot in the door. And uh, I've got weird things going on in my life and with my computer. Subscribe. Uh, there are more videos coming out. Uh, this is just the beginning. Uh, what's anybody worry about here? Uh, you know, people finding out the truth about a few things. Uh, hearing the first-hand accounts of somebody who has experienced uh, many different weird things. It's the nature of my life, man. Uh, it is what I, I, I've, I've experienced. So that's it.